Hello friends, welcome to how to master SQL DBA with TK. I'm TK. So this is a course that I have designed for anybody who is interested in learning SQL, SQL, the DBA side of SQL, right? That is structure query language. I've designed this course it's going to be multiple or uh, courses or multiple projects and we are going to post it on our facebook page sorry not facebook youtube <laughs> let me correct that so we are going to post it on our youtube page that you see right here and we're going to have multiple videos on how to become a sql dba so without talking too much let me show you what we are going to be working with so this is the outlook of the project or the outlet of the project so first we have a part one of the project the introduction then we're going to have the part two of the project and you can see everything that we are going to be doing so today we are we are doing the introduction right so what are we going to be doing how are we going to be doing it and all that good stuff again back to my introduction we are doing sql the dba side sql is structure query language it is a language that is used to do so many things so there is a database side of it so they use sql to build databases so as a database admin you manage those databases right that are being created using sql so this is what this course is all about you are going to be a dba or database administrator managing those databases this course we are not going to have a lot of definitions. It's going to be a lot of hands-on showing you what to do, like click here, click there. This is how you do it. So that you should have that feeling like you are in an office or you are in a working environment or an, or an internship or, you know, so that is the whole goal of our project. All right, so first thing first, before we even start this project so you don't waste your time i don't i don't waste my time right there are some few things that i want to talk about number one your computer please ensure you have a good computer because if you do not have a good computer you will have issues with this cause oh uh, i just have to be plain and simple right just please try to have a computer with a good enough ram at least 24 gigs of ram then the space on your c drive this yellow folder right here the space on your c drive should be at least 400 right and also the core of the computer should be at least in tech core 5 or if you are re using amg the amg amd it should be at least a five or five five and above core processor also it should be a windows pro a windows pro that is because we are going to be doing Hyper-V. We are going to be uh, working with virtual machines. And the Hyper-V manager comes only on Windows Pro. It does not come with Windows Home, right? So, uh, real quick, if you just want to check the specs of your computer, like the specification, if you're watching this video, you're like, oh, let me check the specs of my computer to see if it's up to the tax, or if it's up to what uh, this guy is saying. All you have to do right if you have a windows 10 and above you can go right here in the search bar where it says search you type about if you type about you click and this window comes up you will see everything that i was talking about for example my computer right here the storage is 459 gigabytes uh my install ram is 24 then my core i'm using the amd resin which is 7 so right i'm good and also if i go down here you will see that mine is a windows 11 pro so that was what i was talking about i know things are hard i know things aren't easy but you can get something like this for about 550 dollars each i bought this from walmart for 550 so if you really want to take this serious right who knows you might study this and become the next dba just try it out just invest a little bit of money Take your time and you you never know because all we are asking or all i'm asking from you is just for you to get a good computer and your time and, and, and an internet and i'm going to provide you all the necessary necessary information that you might need so once you 
are sure that okay this is what you want to do uh your computer's up your computer is good everything is set everything is ready to go so we can start preparing now right i know it's introduction but at least we should do some few things so we start preparing for the course what i want us to do now is is to go to the c drive right this yellow folder right here click on that c drive all right so you can click on this pc mine's already there so click so you go where it said this pc if, if you click and you don't see your local disk or drive click on this pc comes up now i want you to click on that c drive once you click on that c drive you should have something like this showing i want you to create folders in that c drive right if you have never created a folder i'll show you again if you know how to create a folder please go ahead and just do but just bear with me that i'm trying to break the course down in a way that anybody can follow so if you never create a folder before you right click and you go to where it says new like i'm doing you can follow me you go to where it says folder you click on that i want you to create a folder in there called vms just like that or you can call it virtual machine if you want but i like the short called vms and you click enter all right then click and go in that folder so click and go inside that folder inside that vm folder we are going to create three other folders right you right click you go to new again you go to folder now want us to create a folder name domain click enter then i want us to create another folder so you right click go to new go to folder create another folder there call let's call that folder mm -hmm. hpd dash no 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 hdc let's call it hdc yeah. hdc dash sql01 you click enter then create the last folder now right click new folder and click on folder you go back you call you just what that should be called hdc dash sql02 okay zero two all right just like that now we have three folders in there so we can go back one now go to where it says download do you see, do you see where it says download so click on your download once you are in your download i want you to create two folders in there so right click again go to new go to folders create a folder called softwares like soft just like that softwares or oh, software that's fine then then right click again and you go to new and create a folder called databases all right so we have created all the folders that i want us to create and now remember i mentioned that we need a windows pro because we are going to create virtual machines for this course and we are going to create virtual machine on something called hyper-v manager hyper-v manager is what window uses to create and manage virtual machines right that's all you have to know about that a virtual machine again is just a virtual computer that you create online and it's just like your regular computer i know this course just reminder there are not going to be a lot of definition i won't be defining a lot of things but things that i think that might be important i'll talk about it it's going to be more hands-on just showing you how to do things now back to hyper-v this hyper-v if you have never used hyper-v or you have never enabled your hyper-v before and you know for sure that you have a windows pro all you have to do is type down here you see where this this little search bar where we went to check our computer specs go to that search bar again type under that search bar should be your best friend right now because there are a lot of things we're going to search on the search bar so start typing turn on so tu right there where is that type your tur you should see turn on windows future on or off click on that once you click on that you should have this right now you should have all these futures but what we are looking for is the hyper v if your hyper v like you, you, if you look at mine my hyper v the box is checked which means it's good to go if your hyper v box is not checked click so that it should be checked and once you click you click okay 
then it's gonna prompt you to restart your computer that is good so once you restart the computer we are going to end our class for today so that is all for the introduction once you restart your computer then we're gonna pick up from next class where we are going to get all the softwares that we need for to succeed in this class and remember everything is free everything that we're going to get is free i'll show you where to get it and how to get it all right i hope the first class was good i hope the introduction wasn't uh, too crazy and i hope that you come back and continue with this class like i said though i'm a dba there are a lot of jobs out there take this serious please you might help yourself or help somebody else right all right ciao ciao bye bye